CIL City saw a baby born in town for the first time in more than 40 years. A popular film festival is coming to Jersey. A woman got her high school ring back after 36 years. And a church in Pittstown is delivering blessings at the end of their driveway. Happy Wednesday, folks. I'm AOL male user X born to run X, but you can call me Libby Cardone. And you're listening to Today in NJ for February 19th, 2020. Luciana Galato made history the moment she was born. That's because Luciana was born in Sea Isle City, which doesn't have a hospital, making her the first baby to be born in the shore town since 1977. So I know what you're thinking. How did that even happen? Well, Luciana's parents, Jean and Joe Galato, are from Pennsylvania, but thought they'd spend one last weekend relaxing at their Sea Isle place before the new baby came. Well, obviously, Luciana had other plans. Jean unexpectedly went into labor on the second floor of her parents' home, and CIL EMTs arrived in 10 minutes to help her deliver the baby, the first delivery they'd ever done. The town honored Luciana during a city council meeting, posing for photos with the first responders and giving new big sister Briella a key to the city on her sister's behalf. Are you ready for your close-up, Jersey? The renowned Tribeca Film Festival is expanding into Hoboken for the first time ever this year. The reason? Besides the fact that Jersey is far superior to New York in every single way, well, Pete Torres, Tribeca Film Festival COO, says that a lot of the festival attendees were actually from Hoboken and that they wanted to increase attendees and enhance the cultural calendar in Hoboken. The festival runs from April 15th to the 26th, and we are definitely going to be there with a large popcorn. We all lose things from time to time, but Holly Ann Green has a crazy story of how her lost ring made its way back to her. Green lost her class of 1983 Paramus High School ring in Manhattan on June 26, 1984, while she was visiting for the Gay Pride Parade. She went to the bathroom, took all of her rings off, and you can probably guess what happens next. Over the next few years, Holly moved to Florida and raised her sons. During that time, Dean Ferraro found her ring at the bottom of a refrigeration case while working as an air conditioning repairman. How the ring got there is anybody's guess, but Dean spent the next 36 years trying to figure out who Holly was and how to get the ring to her. When he finally found her, she couldn't believe it, and honestly, neither can we. The Everettstown United Methodist Church has added a blessing box besides the driveway of its location in Pittstown. If you've ever seen a library box, it follows the same idea, but instead of things to read, the blessing box holds things like food and toiletries for those who need a little extra help to take as they need, totally free. The contents are donated by parishioners of the church and other members of the community, and it's restocked at least twice a week. Way to show Jerseyans really care about each other, Pittstown. That's all we've got for today in NJ. If you're hungry for more news, you can check us out at NJ.com. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow's episode, check out our show notes for information about the stories we mentioned today, and send in any suggestions you have for stories at podcasts at NJAdvanceMedia.com. I'm Libby Cardone, and I'm going to go check my mail and see if anybody found the Scooby-Doo locket necklace I lost in second grade. Have a great day, New Jersey.